Good morning. Welcome to my bathroom. Um, I got one ray of light in here in the morning, so I wanted to start the vlog here. Today is Sandy Day, and I'm prepping my skin by using this Korean toner pad. I am so excited. This is honestly the show I look forward to every season. I don't know. There's a lot of talk at New York Fashion Week you know, has become this like spectacle or whatever. In part, that is a little bit true, but I think that a lot of people are still like genuinely really excited about shows. And speaking for myself, I think the production, the music, the way you feel, the hair and makeup, the way the styling comes together, it's unparalleled. And I'm going to take you along with me for the show. And my friend Alexis is going to come over later and do this super cool hairstyle. I actually have never met her before, but I see her work on Instagram. And when I picked out my Sandy look at the store, I really imagined it to go along with this very dramatic and almost floor leg braid. So I want her to get some extensions and essentially just create that for me. Also, please bear with me as I obviously don't really know how to vlog yet, but I do hope that to whoever watches this that you do get a little glimpse just into my life and into the Sandy world because I post a lot about her and it's just a really fun event to go to. I have yet to buy a tripod, so right now my camera is just sitting on my towel rack and I'm praying to God it does not fall down. Also, I'm starting to lose my voice a little bit because of Fashion Week. I don't like it though, a little bit of a deeper voice. Okay, so for makeup, I already put on mascara, but for skin, I think I might just go super simple. Um, I did this Luminous Silk Foundation, which is pretty much the only foundation I own because they sent it to me. And then I blended it out with a beauty blender. I wanted to just keep the look really clean, not much color going on because the hair and the outfit are so crazy. This is a new Jones Road beauty balm that I've been using and I've been really liking it because it's like kind of dewy. They also sent me a brush, but it's like very dewy and it doesn't really look like you're applying like a full rouge. It's more of like a glow within. So I just kind of buff it in. Yeah, it's cute, no? Last would just be lip and I'm gonna do these two. This is the Charlotte Tilbury lip liner, which is like beat to death. And I don't really like to overfill or anything. I just line the outside so that it's a tiny bit more defined. And then I go like this and this and then down the middle. For gloss, I'm doing this Glossier. And then, oh, yes. My look is all red, so this is gonna be perfect. All right, and that's makeup done. Okay, I already have the bottom half on, but here is this super cute Sandy Sport, and this is a belt bag, so it's actually a fanny pack on the inside, and I wanna see how much stuff I can fit in her. And for shoes, I have these sandy ballet pumps. And then I'm gonna put on the top right now. 
So I did a little poll on my Instagram and I asked which top I should wear and it was overwhelmingly that I should do the all red look. I think it just still a, a little bit more luxe with the satin, matching the satin with the bow and it's also Lunar New Year so very auspicious. I think if I don't have good luck this year then there's just nothing more I could have done. Oh my god I can't stop playing with the hair. Stop. <laughs> Helicopter, helicopter. And then I already have this necklace on from her. This is the Lunar New Year collection necklace. But I'm also going to put on these super cute strawberry earrings. I love them so much. Is it going to go in? Is it in? I'm honestly running really early um, because Alexis finished my hair super early. She came, I think, at like 10.30. Um, and the show isn't until one, but last season I was supposed to go to the Kalina Strata show and I was just stuck in traffic for an hour and a half and I nearly missed it and had to stand even though I had a seat in the front row. So this year I'm so on guard and I refuse to be late. I will be there probably 30 minutes early just to take photos and relax a little bit. I love it so much. Okay, I'll see you at the show. Hello! It's my friend Cameron! In uniform, there is fantasy, and in nostalgia, there is presence. Hello. 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 How did you feel about the Sandy show? I loved it. I want everything. Love the last Love the dress. Dress. So much drama. The silky, the bows. Oh, oh bows are not done for sure. No, and the little baby bag. Baby bag. I want it. You heard it here first. Hi, vlog. Is it <laughs> It is. <laughs> Go here. Yay. That's what I said. I feel old because <laughs> I don't know how to Sandy vlog. Shell. Oh Wait, yeah, post show. <laughs> okay, post show. I just Ubered back to my own neighborhood, and I'm dressed like this. How much was it? Jelly beans. Okay, I'm finally back home from the Sandy show, and I wanted to talk about what the collection was like and my thoughts about it. So obviously it was a really cool experience. So I was super early and I went and got just so many photos taken and then the show started and so all of the pieces were very wearable. But then came the drop waists. So there were so many um, like pink garments towards the end where it was like a drop waist, an empire waist, and like a lot of drama, a lot of just interest. Um, and then I also really liked the fur looks. So she had on these like big fur hats uh, that go with like the fur vests. And I just love those. And I think that when they come out next winter, I'm probably going to be participating in it. And it was just, I don't know, like I love the Sandy show because I think she has a very specific vision of what the Sandy girl looks like. It's like in her last show, she said that the Sandy girl goes out and she collects shells and she has dirt under her fingernails. And I just thought that was really cool. And then as we were leaving, it was getting so cold, but I'm happy. And now I think I might just eat lunch and pass out for a while. I'm also gonna keep this hair in for an event tonight. So you will be seeing her some more. I was wearing it like a scarf earlier because it was so cold. That's one thing about February Fashion Week that no one tells you about. It is 
freezing and no one has a jacket on because they want their looks to be good. <laughs> Thank you for following along with me and I hope you enjoyed my first video. Let me know what you want to see from me in the future, whether it be fashion, whether it be taking you along to things like fashion week, talking more about fashion or whatever, just comment below and yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.